What's up, taters? This is Tree from TreeofLogic.com, and welcome to my channel, Just Tree 411 And I want to talk about Dana White. Slap him wife. <laughs> now, I'm going to come to this topic from a different perspective. I think I'm going to probably be one of the very few women who is going to basically come to you this way. And I think I'm kind of, you're probably going to have an idea of my position in reference to this. So now before I, I began, I started to do some research on his wife. And um, in the process, I've learned a lot. Like these two been together for years. By the way, homegirl keep her body tight. I like that. So they met during the eighth grade. And then they started a date in high school. And then nine years later, they got married. And then they had four children. Now, here's what I don't know. I don't know if the four children or any child came before the I do's or after the I do's. However, she's been with him from the beginning to now. And when I looked at that videotape, of course, I cannot play it. I can't play it in here. Y'all know YouTube don't get down like that. <laughs> First of all, I could tell she's been drinking, okay? Him, he could be drinking and I don't know. One thing about men, there's some men who can really hold their booze and I can't I can't tell. But I could definitely tell she's been drinking. Now, what they were arguing about, have no idea. We probably won't know cuz this happened on New Year's Eve. So a lot of you, we, a lot of us saw the videotape on the second. Well, this happened on New Year's Eve. This happened on the 31st going into the New Year's. Like what a way to bring in the New Year's. Bro. Slap me out. Ah! We slapped each other. Okay. So she hit him and he hit her back. And now in a way he hit her back in a way she f tried to fight him back. I was like, mm, that's not the first time. Those two go at it. And basically looking at how fit her body is yeah i got a funny feeling because like even right here you can see she got uh nice delts coming up in here and some biceps so homegirl workout just like dana and um yeah i got a funny feeling like this is not the first time they exchanged some blows if you know what i mean but what's going on is we got a lot of people virtue signaling, talking about something. Oh, you shouldn't hear the woman. You shouldn't do that. And of course, Dane is on apology tour. He has to do this for PR reasons. You understand? Even if he was like, well, <laughs> this is not the first time. I mean, this is the first time it's been recorded. That's what you got to understand. This is the first time it's been recorded. So he has to say, this is, uh, I'm embarrassed. Uh, I, I was wrong. You, under no circumstances should you hit a woman. Blah, 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 blah. All right, let me just say this, all right? I am a very tall woman, very tall, all right? I have a second degree black belt in karate. I have a blue belt in Brazilian jiu-jitsu. And I have been training in Muay Thai and also did a couple of fights in Muay Thai for six years. Also been a, um, a weight resistant trainer as well as being into, I got my professional card for natural bodybuilding. I am strong. Am I stronger than uh, men? No, most men are definitely stronger than me. However, I was raised by my dad to never put my hands on any woman. Also, I did not like the way, and many of you already know this about me, I don't like the way my mom would always strike my dad and my dad would never you know, strike back. I didn't like that. So that was something I, I grew up in knowing that I would never put my hands on anyone. O only when I'm defending myself. And so if you want to ask how many times I have slapped or hit a man in his face, I can have to say three times. And that's because they all grabbed me first. Like two times they slapped me on uh, three men. The two of the three men slapped me on my butt and the other one, this is on two different occasions. Like one was at Freak Nick, one was at a club, but they don't have Freak Nick anymore. One was at Freak Nick, one was at a club and one was at the black sorority, uh, excuse me, a black, no, black Greek, black Greek something. I, it was in Florida. And that was the one who grabbed my, my boobs. And, and I, it's like an automatic reaction to just like, pa 
bow to him. Now, one thing about me is when I retaliate in defense, I'm getting in a fighting stance because that's how I've been taught. I was like, if somebody hit me or violate me, you hit them back and then you get ready to fight. That's how I'm, I'm, I'm trained that way. I'm raised that way. Now, did I fight? Absolutely not because those guys understood they were in the wrong and I was the first time I think any woman has ever hit them. Men do what they think works. Um, they were, if, if a man, uh, kept uh, grabbing a woman or her booty and, and nobody, you know, all they would do is cuss him out or, you know, uh, just walk away or whatever. He would think that that's acceptable behavior. But when a woman actually strikes back in a way that's one humiliating and two hurts. Okay. I'm not no short little thin skinny woman. Okay. So all three times I struck back in the head, in the face. Well, I hit one on the side of the temple and the other three, I just slapped really hard in the face and I know how to slap. Okay. So they realized they were wrong and you know, they never pursued it any further. So my philosophy is this. If you put your hands on a man, then expect that man to put his hands on you. If, if, if you did it first, if you struck him first, that's how I, that's how I roll. Now, ladies, you can't play this. I'm woman. We're equal role. And then start acting like, oh, I can't believe he hit me because I'm a woman. You can't, you can't do that. You cannot play both sides of the fence. You can't be on both sides of the fence. You can, you can't play for both teams either. You can't be on uh, uh, team feminism and be like, yes, honey, we are equal. We can get paid as much as the men. We can do the thing. We can do a lot of jobs as much as the men. And we can even work out harder than men. Okay, well, then you better get ready to fight like a man. That's all I, that's all I have to say. You better be ready because you can't sit up here and do something like hit your man. I, I, I never could understand that what could a man possibly say to make you put your hands on him? <laughs> I'm like, you guys are out in public and you do that? You hit him and, and honey, he gave a pimp slap. If you know what I'm talking about, he was not playing. And it, it was, uh, and of course she went back and, and, uh, his handlers just broke them up. But the thing about it is, this is not the first time. This looks like something that they do a lot. And I wonder what happened to make her strike first in public. These two have been together for years. They have four beautiful children together. Now, don't get me wrong. <laughs> Mr. Dana has been around the block, if you know what I mean. But they're at a party together. Did she catch him doing something? Was he disrespecting her with another woman? We will never know. Because one thing about these two, they've been known, they've known each other since childhood. They are best friends first, and they are husband and wife second. And I think uh, because it looks like this is not the first time they exchanged licks together, it looks like this is something that he will work on um, with marriage counseling or just try to butter her up. He knows her very well right now to know how it is to make it make it good, make good on what he did to, to make up for it and vice versa. But the thing about it is, is that I want ladies to understand, like, don't ever, ever under any circumstances, put your hand on a man, unless you got a simp, like if you got a, if you got a simp or you got a punk or whatever, you know, saying somebody like, um, <laughs> Alex Stein, I, I actually went on, Alex Stein had, uh, and I'm not going to go to my Twitter cause it's not, um, let me just say this. If I show you what I put on my Twitter, this is going to get, you know, let me get the little yellow thing going on. But anyway, Alex Stein was like, under no circumstances should you hit it. Well, see, first of all, Alex Stein likes to be hit. He does. He likes to be hit by a woman. I have seen it over and over again. And when I saw him go to Dave's place over there in New York, and I saw them two black women beat up on him and he did nothing and except for laugh and grin, I was like, oh, he's a masochist. He, he really enjoyed, I, this is not the first time I've seen women beat up 
Alex Stein. I, this is not the first time, and I think in a way he does this in order to get hit because he knows he's not going to hit them back. So to me, he's a masochist. That's all that is. And I just basically checked them because I was like, dude, you just, you cannot sit up here and tell a grown man, an alpha man, like, uh, especially a man who's been married to his wife for many years, okay? They've known each other since the eighth grade. You can't sit up here and tell him that he's out of pocket. Now, of course, he has to apologize because, you know, this is about money. <laughs> this is about money, money, money. But, you know, she's beautiful. Uh, she looks no nonsense. She looks alpha, too. So, like I said, this something happened. But either way, ladies, I'm not going to make this video that long. Either way, what I wanted to say is that don't ever, ever under, even, I know he's like, what if, what if he cheats? What if he cheats and cheat back? I told you guys what to do. If he cheats on you, cheat back on him. Okay. But I've never been the type of person to put my hands on someone except in self-defense all my life. I've never threw the first punch or the first slap. It was always in retaliation or in defense. And so I think, ladies, you need to understand this. Now, like I said, we're in an age where men, because if I had a son, I would raise him the same way. But one day you're going to run across you women who like to put your hands on men. You're going to come across a man who gives zero Fs zero Fs and you about to get beat down. We have seen so many videos of this, you know what I'm saying? So I need you guys to understand, don't do that. Don't ever put your hands on anyone, a child, a man, another woman, you know, don't be the first one because you're acting out of, um, it's you're being, not only are you unhinged, but you're, you are erratic. So, and unreasonable, you just acting, you're, you're acting unreasonable. And so there's no need, there's nothing a person can say that will make me put my hands on them. And, and most of all, y'all got to think about jail because <laughs> you can't go to jail. I, I can't tell you when I was a police officer, I have locked up lots of women who thought that they were, oh, I'm a woman. I'm not going to go to jail. Uh-uh. Yeah, I'm taking them to jail too. So understand that whenever you feel like you're going to put somebody, put your hands on someone, just walk away. Just walk away. Because it's not worth jail and it's not really worth an altercation because if you come across a guy um, who likes to hit back, that's not going to feel so good. Okay. And as a woman who spars with nothing but men, trust me, take it from me. When they hit back, it's not going to feel good. But let me know. You could be a disagree. You could be disagreeing with me. If you are, let me know in the comment section. Okay. Be sure to leave a like and I'll see you guys on the next video. By the way, I'm going to do my best to get the comment video up here. The next time, the next video should be the comment section to the red pill, uh, uh men who had, uh, responded to my video. So I'm, I'm about about 80% done with that video and sh should be uploaded uh, about a day or two after this one. See you later.